Hi guys, this is editing me. Sorry to break in, but the second look is missing some footage, mainly because I fat fingered it. And in this case, I fat fingered it by not using my fat finger to push the record button. So I'm about a good third of the way through the tutorial on that one when we finally pick it up. Do we ever make mistakes on these videos? Oh no, never! Hi guys, it's Anne. I'm back again. Uh, this is look three out of three looks, one palette. And I'm, instead of doing hush, Fanny, please shush. Oh, he wants to play. Hmm. Anyway, he's so cute. Anyway, three looks, one palette, but instead of a big name palette like most of these are, this is my beauty glazed Stralesia that I picked up through Amazon. Now, beauty glazed you will find all over the place in Amazon, including in places that don't look like it's beauty glazed until you actually get the package in because it beauty glaze does a lot of um, materials for other companies and in some cases the other companies bother to have a private label put on it with their company name and in some cases they just send this now, I've been using Beauty Glaze for a long time. No, this is not sponsored. They don't know who I am and probably don't care. But I've been using them for a long time. Beauty Glaze, Beauty Creations, Pop Feel. It's like they're all pretty much the same company at this point, as far as I can tell. Anyway, they do reasonably good makeup at a price point that somebody on my kind of budget can handle. Now, on occasion, while you're looking at their palettes, you may see stuff that look really familiar. Yeah, they do occasionally do stuff inspired by the big names. And you can find something that's close enough that you can pull off looks that other people have done from big name palettes. Up to you. They're not jumping up and down and waving it around and going, this is a dupe, this is a dupe. It's like, you know, copycat cosmetics and, and duped cosmetics, this ain't. They're actually a little more discreet about it. So, you know, they're not jumping around trying to go hee hee ha ha at the big names anyway i can afford these the big names are not losing a customer because of you know beauty glazed or beauty creations or pop feel or whatever the heck they are not because i can't afford to buy the big names but i like the color stories i like the color combinations so, yeah, I'm going to find things that are as close as I can get. If that bugs you, I'm sorry. But it's a sorry I'm not sorry because I can't afford big names. Unless they show up in my, in, in like an Ipsy or something like that. Then, you know, like I, like I said when I did my recent Ipsy, 
very first one, I finally have got an Ofra highlighter. Yes, it's great. It's gorgeous. And I'm not going to pay $35 to replace it when I hit pan. I don't have it. If I get another one through another subscription box like that, I will be thrilled. I will be happy. I will be grateful. But I'll be right back here with these or with Profusion. Profusion is wonderful. Nice brand. You can actually go to their website. Don't buy it off of Amazon, please God. I have seen some prices on Amazon that are just ridiculous compared to what's actually on the Profusion website. Just go. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't have an affiliate code. I'm not, yeah. Again, I've got less than 100 followers at this point on this date. So they don't know me and I'm t way too small for them to even think about knowing me. So yeah, but I love Profusion because I can pick that up. One of my favorite glitter palettes I picked up at the drugstore for five bucks during holiday season just passed. So yeah, love it. It's good stuff. Yeah, but you can do glitter and glam on a budget. You can. You can be just as sparkly as you want to be on a budget. Keep watching and I'll show you how.
Hello, this is Anne. How you doing? How are all my pretties? Anyway, this is the third look in this particular um, video, and that's using the Strelitza. The first two looked pretty good. They really did. We'll see how this one comes out. Alrighty. I'm going to try something a little different. The first two were very similar, so. This one's got a semi similar start. I'm just putting this up here to give me some field for this area. We already know I always mess with things and play with things, so we will see how this one does. Yes, if my eyes look a little oily, that's because right now I've got moisturizer on them as opposed to regular primer because, God help me, putting it on, taking it off, putting it on, taking it off has irritated the heck out of my eyes. So I put some really good moisturizer on and we'll see how that does. Yes, I've done all three looks in one day. Yes, I'm crazy. Now, luckily, this particular palette actually does have names. I will try and remember to put all the names in the description in case you just really need to have names to do this. In the meantime, just going to keep playing. Yes, I'm putting this one down first, right in the middle. Who said I do anything the way anybody else does? I did it my way. All right, I'll quit. For a singer, I make a wonderful comedian. See, there's this one pale matte blue that they're calling Azure that I think is going to look real good right here in the middle, especially when I put the other bits on. Yes, I know. You're asking me why in the world I put that other color on first, and heaven only knows. 
Jesus. I don't know. Because this seems to be making me happy to just pretty much cover it up. It does lend a little bit of shading to the pale blue. So you've got a couple of different tones there, but... Now, technically, this dark blue is technically a shimmer. Technically. But I didn't wet it yet. This one's called Blitz Blue. right here in that corner up against the other blue Yes, I am making faces again. This is called my concentration face. We've introduced you to that one before. Get that right up there to that pale blue. Get some more of that pale blue and kind of put it the rest of the way up. Like that, kind of make sure everybody's fairly even. And then, <laughs> now I'm going to do a bit of wet work on that dark blue just because I want to shear it out just a tiny bit and get it to glitter just a tiny bit. Okay, that side's going down much farther than the other one.
droop going again. Oh, I'm not doing that. Well. And we all know blue stains like a salmon of bunny. problem of having an equal vision. Can't always see what you're doing. Okay, this one's not going to be anywhere close to perfect, but I think you'll get the gist of what I thought I was going to be doing. Get my pale blue again. Pull that back in. Right up to the edge of the other one and give it a little smear. I don't know what possessed me to do a bunch of blues. I mean, we are seriously talking antique look. Now, when I first started doing makeup, this wasn't such an antique. Hush you. No rude noises about old women. Just because I are one. <sighs> la 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 la.
Yes, indeedy. Blue and silver. Look like Christmas. I don't care. It works. Always managed to get this one at about the right height, and this one way closer to my eyebrow. Go figure. Oh, you see, this one, this one right here, is the bad eye. This is my better eye for seeing. So when I have to close this eye to work on it, I can't see really what I'm doing here. I'm hoping I get contacts. I'm going to try. I had them a long time ago, but then I just kind of like went, I'm not going out anywhere. I'll just like wear glasses. It's not a big deal. Except that sometimes it is a big deal. Sometimes you want to see th things in a different perspective. Now, just to be a pain in the butt, I'm going to put something completely different under the eye. of a raspberry tone shade. It's called Scarlet, but I think it looks more raspberry. And I'm going to take a little bit of the quote-unquote pale gold in the palette. And put that pooch right in here. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a nice pop. The silver, by the way, is called ice snow. So. Look here, you. My doggie is having a fit. He's just having a fit. Don't fuss at me if my hands shake. I've already got one of the looks, if you've already seen that one, where my hands were shaking bad enough that I did a really bizarre line. I'm 
Yeah, what I really should have on is some big, blingy, fancy earrings to go with this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go dig them out. Let's see. Let's try... So the first two were kind of spring and Easter basket, and this one's dinner out anytime. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you pick up this particular palette. I know it's a beauty glazed. It's not a big name, but it's still a decent palette. It works. I got three looks out of it that were not horrendous. One was a little sillier than another, but hey, Easter baskets are Easter baskets. Anyway, yes, I'm being a little more quiet today because the hubby is taking a nap. I know, scary. I'm being quiet. Anyway, what'd you think? If you liked it, come on back. I'll be doing more eventually. Be good.